welcome to another episode of Friend Outdoors. On today's episode, our team is in Manitoba, Canada, bow hunting Canadian black bears. We kick off today's episode as we follow Stan, our guide, as we go to check out some bait barrels and to rebate them. The guys get quite a surprise as they're going into Mark's stand location. When Mark gets into his stand for the evening's hunt, his confidence is running high. With good weather in the forecast, will a bear come into his setup and will Mark be able to get a shooting opportunity? Here's what happens. Uh, we're shooting our bows a little bit, getting everything ready. We'll be out uh, here after a bit to uh, hang stands and check bait, and then we'll start hunting tomorrow evening. So hopefully we'll all get lucky and uh, get our bears. Here Stan is baiting the barrel, getting ready for this evening's hunt. That barrel up like that? Yeah, they just take it on the tree. You break the ropes, and I just run a short of ropes already. And As our team goes into another bait site to check the barrel and to rebait it, they catch this bear in a tree. There's a bear. Get it down. He's got his heard us then ran over and climbed that tree see yeah. what we was doing to the claws of the track here but they do climb the trees you know and, but we should have might have noticed them we'd run up under him you know and then hit our nose twice because he was on his way down there already but uh, too late he didn't catch him as soon as then you had pictures of him because he's dead he's been yelling too
it was very interesting to follow Stan around as he baited these barrels to see how he did things. This young bear was the first one to show up on this evening's hunt. I probably watched this young bear feed at the barrel for 15 or 20 minutes, but then his demeanor changed as he began to look back into the bush and he became more nervous. Eventually, I caught movement in the brush and noticed another black bear as he circled the bait barrel. This larger black bear also acted very cautious as he looked at the bait barrel from back in the brush.
Eventually, this black bear committed to coming into the bait barrel. When this black bear got to the bait barrel, he checked things out, but you notice he goes back into the brush without getting any bait. In this situation, you've got to be very, very patient to get yourself a good shooting opportunity. You notice here, when this black bear comes back to the bait barrel to get a piece of bait, he goes back into the timber, but he's starting to really calm down and become more and more comfortable with his surroundings. There's the air sticking inside. Yeah. <laughs> you turn off the night shot just to see if it's going to do anything. Shine light on, Dad. Hell, yeah, I'll hold your light. Sorry, big guy. Night shot real quick, yeah. Is that male or female? Oh. That boy's sure stiff, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Get that air out. Get that air out. Focus. That's up, boy. That's a good stand. Today's episode. Here's a quick recap of this hunt. But first, a little backstory. When we got into camp, we were pretty excited about the week's hunt. And when the guy came in and told us about the baits that he had and how much activity he was getting, we were really stoked. So we started out when we went into the bait site that I'm at. When we got there, the guy had a little bit of a funny look on his face. When I asked him what was up, he said the bait barrel's missing. So we proceeded to look around and we found the barrel about 70 yards away in the brush. The bear had broken the rope that held the barrel to the tree. So we brought the barrel back, we got it tied back up. As the guide baited the barrel, I climbed up and put my tree stand in position, checked my shooting lanes with the help of the guys. So we got down and we left. I was pretty excited about the next evening's hunt. So the next evening when I went in there to actually hunt and I climbed in the stand, I didn't see anything all evening. I was pretty de depressed about that. But as I got down and went back to camp, several of the guys had been successful. And they was telling their stories, and of course Bears was there, and we was looking at video footage, and it was just a great evening of listening to the stories. So the next evening, when I'm going to go out to hunt, my brother come to me and he said, hey, go to the bait site that I was on. He said a big black bear was in the area whenever he shot the cinnamon. So when we drove to his location, I was getting out of the truck and I looked up and man, it looked cloudy. It just looked like it was going to pour the rain down. 
So I decided to leave the camera gear in the truck because I didn't want to ruin it. And boy, I'm glad I did. Because when I went in there and climbed the stand, probably an hour into the hunt, it started pouring the rain down and it rained for a while. So here I was, I decided to stick it out in the rain, but I was wearing a head net because the black flies and mosquitoes are so bad up there. Well, I don't know if you've ever had this happen, but it rained enough that rain got all in the squares of my head net and I couldn't see very well. So I was trying to flick the rain and everything and get it cleared out of there. Well, of course, when this was going on, here comes this black bear. He goes right to the bait barrel, perfect opportunity. And I literally can't see. I'm trying to flick this rain without him seeing me, but he's catching my movement. He knows something's up. Eventually he drips back off into the timber and my opportunity was gone. So I was pretty aggravated. So the evening ends, I go back. I decide to go back to the first bait that I come to on our first day there. On our way in, we catch a small bear up in a tree, and I was able to film some of that. It comes down the tree and runs back into the forest. So we proceeded to go back into the site. I'm climbing up into my tree stand. I'm getting a camera arm in position, getting all my stuff ready as the guide and a few of the guys bait the barrel and get stuff ready. So then they leave, and a little bit of time goes by, and then I start seeing some bears. I'm absolutely positive that I saw three different bears, but I think I saw as many as six. Eventually, I got a bear to come in, and as I'm sitting there, I thought, I'd like to shoot a bigger bear, but what if this is the only opportunity I get? So I decided that if I got an opportunity, I was gonna take it. So this bear comes in, he gets a piece of bait, he goes back into the bush and he eats it. He comes back, he did it again, each time getting braver. Finally, I think the third time that he come back, he gave me a perfect broadside shot. I settled my pin, I took careful aim, and I fired. The bear let out, ran about 50 yards, and I saw him go down. I was pretty stoked and excited. So I sit there for a little while longer to make sure. Then as evening approached, I got down, got with the guys at camp. They come in, we got the four-wheeler come back in to retrieve the bear. Unfortunately, it was at night, but we did the best we could with flashlights to get some video footage. Again, we hope you enjoyed it. It was a great trip, one of the best bear hunts we'd ever been on. And making those memories with friends and family, you just can't beat that. That's what it's all about. I want to thank the good Lord upstairs for making it happen. Now, we really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumb up, like button, and subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate it. It helps us to grow. If you've got any comments, leave them below. I'll try to answer them. Also on this channel, underneath the shorts tab, we've got a lot of different animals. Most of these short videos is only 15 seconds. There's just a few of them that are a little longer. We really think you'd like it, a lot of different animals. We'd like to thank our military personnel. Thank you for your service. Now for a preview of our next episode on Friend Outdoor Adventures. Did you really get it, Brian? It's on that video right there. Did you get it? You got, I, heard, I heard it. Get it on film? Now we're gonna, we're, we've got you on tape three Whoa. times as big Get as that. Get it there, Mark. Let's see that big bear. <laughs>